Hi, I'm Suzanne and I'm one of the registered nurses here at Pacific Center for Plastic Surgery. This portion of this um, video is to help you get prepared for your light lift. And the information that I'm going to be going over with you in the next few minutes are for those of you that are having a light lift in the office with oral sedation. Oral sedation means that you're going to take a little pill, we call it the happy pill, and um, with a local anesthesia. So it's really important that you're listening to the proper instructions for those of you that are having oral sedation with your light lift. In your packet, hopefully all of you have received a packet, there's a sheet. And in that sheet, there's a nice little chart that goes over specifically what to do two weeks before your surgery, one week before your surgery, three days, two days, the night before, and the actual day of your surgery. I'm going to briefly go over those instructions to help clarify any questions that you may have. So let's start with the two weeks prior to surgery. In this time, um, you will be having your pre-op, and the pre-op is the appointment that you have with the nurse in the office. Those instructions, we're going to go over some really important points. One very important factor at this point um, of your surgery is to make sure that you're off all medications that stop bleeding. That would include aspirin, Motrin, ibuprofen, um, vitamin E, flaxseed oil, fish oils. In your packet, there's a list of medications that talk about all those medications that you could be or supplements that take that, that promote bleeding. So if you have any question about this, please call the office and someone will be happy to answer this question for you. So two weeks prior to surgery, you need to stop all those medications. Another um, important factor is, um, especially with a light lift, is that we have your blood pressure under control. At this point, you will have had your blood pressure taken um, during your, con your um, consultation with your consultant. And you will know specifically what your blood pressure is. And it's really important that you maintain and keep track of your blood pressure if your blood pressure is a little high during this time before surgery. Let's move down to the week before surgery. During this time, it's really important that you get all your prescriptions filled and the nurse will go over all the um, prescriptions that you need to fill. You need to have a caretaker take care of you. Um, someone needs to take you to surgery, someone needs to bring, home, bring you home from surgery, and someone needs to stay with you for 24 hours. Even though you're not having general anesthesia, the medication that we give you makes you have kind of silly and not remember things. So it's important that you have a responsible adult over the age of 18 that stays with you. So we ask that during this week before surgery that you have all the loose ends tied up. So that's having your medications filled, having any lab results that may be requested. At this time, we ask that you start washing your face with antibacterial soap. You don't have to wash your hair, but we want you to wash your face every night. And it's real important that you clean all around up here in the scalp line, around your ears and behind your ears. And um, then 24 hours before your surgery, we want you to not put any lotions or any creams in these areas because we want the areas all nice and clean before your surgery. On that sheet that I was talking about that talks about what to do before surgery, there's the two days prior to surgery. This is a really important point for all of you who are having a light lift in our office. That two days prior to surgery is when you put the clonidine patch on your chest. And typically we have you put it either over here to the side or over to this side and you can put it off to the side so it's covered with your clothes. That patch is going to stay on two days before surgery and leave it on until five days after your surgery. What this patch does is it helps maintain your blood pressure within a normal range. A lot of times when you come in for a cons consultation or when you're getting ready for surgery, your blood pressure gets a little bit elevated and this patch just helps keep it where it normally should be to one day before surgery. This is the day that you're gonna make sure everything is done. All your supplies are purchased and bought. Make sure you have enough um, proper food to eat. You wanna make sure you have like soft foods, maybe some shakes and some scrambled eggs and things that are gonna be easy to eat after surgery. Um, you're also gonna, at nighttime, take that scopolamine patch and that's gonna be the smaller of the two patches that you get in your prescriptions and that's gonna go 
over here on your sh um, shoulder, on the outer part. That patch is gonna go on the night before your surgery and you're gonna leave that on for three days. That patch actually helps with nausea. You can shower with both of the patches, with the clonidine patch and with the scopolamine patch. It's okay to shower, but it's very important when you take those patches off that you wash your hands. If you don't wash your hands, that medicine remains on your fingers, and if you go to rub your eyes, you could have blurry vision for up to 24 hours. You're gonna wake up in the morning and have a little snack and something to eat. And at that time, you're gonna gather all your medications that you got at your pre-op. And that would be your antibiotic, which is typically Duracef. Um, you're gonna have your Zofran. You're gonna have a pain pill and any other um, medications that we have prescribed for you, gather them in a bag, and you can bring a scarf with you if you'd like to, to help cover up um, the wrap that you're gonna have around your head, and come to the office, and you're gonna show up an hour before your surgery time. And at that time, the nurse will give you the rest of your medications and let you get sleepy and get ready for your light lift.